Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Allison if you are new here, and today I am sharing a bunch of cleaning and organizing motivation for you guys. We are hosting a ton of family in our house this summer, which we are so excited about, but that means we have to get our guest room and a bunch of dirty little secrets in our home under control and organized. And thanks to Cricut for sponsoring a portion of this video, I'm gonna be getting the guest bathroom spick and spam for our family to come visit. We're also gonna be organizing the bedroom, the linen closet, and down in the garage. The garage was super messy, so I'm glad we got it under control a little bit, just to make it a little more visually appealing. So if you're ready to see a bunch of cleaning and organizing motivation, we're gonna start first up in the bedroom. I know when family comes to visit, they won't be spending tons of time in our bedroom, but I'm assuming a house tour will happen and I want to be able to show this room without being too ashamed of it. We've had some orders come in from online and just had things piling up, so I want to start tackling this entire room and I'm starting off by washing our bedding. You know we have a black German Shepherd who we love dearly, Bucky, and he is on this bed all the time. It's a bad habit, we probably should break it at some point, but I just can't say no to a face like his. So we wash these sheets very often and that's the first thing I'm doing in this video. I'm heading downstairs to the laundry room and I'm actually going to end up doing what Love Meg here on YouTube calls if you give a mouse a cookie cleaning. Basically I was going to start in the bedroom cleaning and then notice the sheets were dirty so I brought those to do the laundry and then I'm going to notice that our washing machine is pretty dirty and I'm going to want to fold this laundry and then also wash the washing machine. Let me know down in the comments if you guys do the same kind of cleaning too where you start cleaning one space and then you realize oh I can clean this. Oh wait now I have to to clean this to be able to do that. Oh wait, now I'm doing this. It happens to me all the time. I try not to do it in the videos, but here I just had to fold this pile of laundry and then clean these washing machines off. It's super satisfying though, so I hope you guys enjoy these clips. Back upstairs, I'm gonna move our duvet filler over to our bed, wipe the dog fur off the pillows on the ground, and start cleaning up the dresser. This is where the piles of clothes were building up. I placed a nice big order for some fresh summer clothes for Christian and I, and my pile of clothes was still on the dresser, still on the plastic wrap, and Christian's pile was actually in the closet. So you'll see me tackle these piles, get them put away, and finally clean up this space a little bit more. Look closely and you'll see a tennis ball wedged in our bed. I tossed that down the stairs and Bucky ran straight upstairs to bring the tennis ball back up here. He loves his tennis balls so much.
Moving on to our bathroom, this is always cluttered and messy. Krish and I are both guilty of not keeping this space as clean as we probably should, but it doesn't take very long to just put everything back in the medicine cabinets. And I've already recently wiped down and scrubbed the vanity and the bathroom in here. I'll link a video here where I showed deep cleaning this space and organizing this space. It was a really satisfying cleaning video, so you guys can check that out if you need some more bathroom cleaning motivation. But also stay tuned because we're going to be tackling the guest bathroom in this space too. Whenever I vacuum upstairs, I kind of hate showing the film for it because there's never really visible messes on the floor. And that's because Bucky's fur does an amazing job of blending in. Stay tuned in a little bit though, I will show you just how much this vacuum has picked up. It is crazy, one, how good this vacuum is. I recently like deep cleaned it and it's been doing great ever since then. But it also amazes me how much fur this one dog can lose. I definitely talk about Bucky all the time, but a lot of the cleaning we do in this household is kind of to cover our bases with him to make sure our house doesn't smell like dog. And here's that look of the vacuum cleaner being completely full. I definitely overfilled it a little bit this day, but you'll see me run it downstairs and empty it out before we vacuum the rest of the landing. Christian had recently restocked our toilet paper stash. Well, he bought the toilet paper and brought it upstairs for me because he knows that I like to be the one to organize things and put it away in a particular way. So I'm thankful for him for letting me do this because I kind of find this super satisfying. It's kind of like playing Jenga with all of these toilet paper rolls, having to squeeze them into our linen closet. You crash into me like waves. Never knew the value of those days. You crash into me like waves. Never knew the value of those days. I miss the way that you say my name. You're too good. I'd never heard of anything before. So sweet. All the days we spent together when we fell in love. We took for granted. Now I stand here cause I miss your love. Now moving on to cleaning a space I haven't really shown you guys yet. Welcome to our guest bathroom, and it might not be that exciting. It does look just like our master bathroom. It's the same layout, and yes, I will explain the toilet situation. <laughs> it's really dirty in here just from being never used. We honestly have only used this space once, uh, months and months and months ago when Christian's brother came and stayed with us. So the toilet's not dirty from um, toilet things. It's just dirty from not being used, and I guess our hard water builds up or something. So here I am scrubbing it, using bleach, doing whatever I can to lift these stains up to get this fresh and clean and ready for some guests to actually come and use this space again. That's kind of the hard part of having a guest room that we don't use that often is I don't feel like cleaning it all the time because I feel like it'd be a waste of cleaning products, but I also know that if I don't take care of it often, it'll end up looking like this. But 
we're fixing that today. We're cleaning this space. And my favorite thing we're doing in here is organizing this shower. I'm taking all of our bath products out and I'm pulling out these four empty pump containers I ordered online for this project and I'm gonna start decanting them. We have a hodgepodge of a bunch of half used or half empty shampoos, conditioner, body washes, all of those kinds of things and I wanted to streamline this space and make it be a nice place for our guests to come and use and have it also be very clear for them to know what's in each bottle. Once all four containers are full, I'm gonna grab them all and bring them with me downstairs to start with our Cricut Craft. Now I'm gonna be using the Cricut Joy Machine, and it is the smallest cutting machine in Cricut's lineup. This tiny portable machine is perfect for quick and easy 15 minute or less crafts, which is exactly what I was looking to do today. To make sure our guests know what is in each bottle in the shower, I wanna add customized labels, and the Cricut Joy app makes this super easy. Cricut also has a desktop version of this and a more in-depth Cricut mobile version, but the Cricut Joy app has really simple, pre-made, ready-to-go labels that make this super fast. I picked out a simple design and then I type in all of the different labels I want to add. You also can use the Cricut Design Center on desktop or their normal mobile app to make bigger projects happen, but I really enjoyed the Cricut Joy app for this machine for simple, easy, and fast DIYs. I especially appreciate how easy it is to follow along. Once you're in the app and working on your project, it will give you step-by-step -step instructions like how and when to feed the paper into the machine, when to add a pen, when to let it be drawing, and every little step along the way, the app will be walking you through that so there's no doubting and no questioning of how far along in the project you are, and it makes it pretty goof-proof. I really appreciate this because it was my first time using Cricut in this video, and I was very pleased with how simple it was to follow along. So the Cricut Joy not only is a cutting machine, it also has inserts like pens and markers, so it will also draw out those perfect labels you designed for yourself online. No need to use a printer and then this machine, it is all in one for that purpose, which I love. This machine also works with the Cricut Smart Materials, which means that you don't have to be transferring any vinyls or materials you're cutting or drawing on onto a cutting mat first. They have special materials that have a backing built into it already, so you can feed your material straight into the machine it cuts out one more step and just further shows how quick and easy this process can be. But now you can see our labels have all been drawn out. The Cricut app instructed me how to easily switch out the pen for the cutting blade. And now we have these perfect labels to add to our shampoo and conditioner bottles and then finally move back upstairs. The Cricut Joy is a cutting machine that equips you to cut and create almost any quick craft. This machine can cut 50 different materials from vinyl to iron-on to even cardstock. Today I started small with just these labels, but I can't wait to use my Cricut Joy to customize iron-on t-shirts for Disneyland, custom cards for friends and family, and even little additions for scrapbooking. This machine is gonna be so much fun and it's also super small and portable. And if you guys know me, I am always decluttering and organizing in my home, so I really appreciate how small and portable this Cricut machine is. Storing it is a breeze and it's not gonna be taking up too much space. I love that it's one of the simpler models and it fits my lifestyle great.
I'm gonna finish tidying up in the guest bathroom by putting any extra product down below the sink, moving the hand soap to the center of the vanity, and then heading out of there. I am tired of cleaning bathrooms. It's probably my least favorite place to clean in, but I'm glad that we got this space nice and clean and organized and refreshed. Moving on to the garage. Now I will say that this is generally Christian's space. He normally keeps his pretty clean and tidy, but with all the DIYs that I'm always working on and all the projects I do, I definitely contribute to the mess out here and I felt like it was my time to be the one to go and clean up this space. So basically when we go to organize the garage, we just try to clear off the workbenches and then put things back where they belong. We have some storage shelves off to the left here that I'm moving items over to. We keep paint cans over there, gardening supplies, and a lot of um, different sprays and cleaners for the cars. So everything's being moved over there. And then we try to keep it pretty simple in the garage. We wanna have room to move around and work out here actually. So it's just easiest when the space is cleared out. So basically lots of trips back and forth, just tidying and putting things back where they belong. Now we have space on the workbenches. I did kind of make just a bigger mess in this corner. This is where we do a lot of our storage items. You can see we have random things like brooms and mops and bikes and lots of spare wood. I did not realize when Christian got into woodworking just how much spare wood we would have. We're thinking about getting a fire pit for our backyard and we don't need to buy any wood because we have tons of scrap wood laying around here. But same thing's going on in this corner, just organizing things. I know these shelves look very messy and it's because they are really messy, but there is some organization in here, believe it or not. The shelf with the two pull-out drawers are all of Christian's microfiber rags. The shelf below that is all of my paint products. Below that we keep all of our gardening products. And then the top shelf is where Christian puts all of his car cleaning supplies. So a little bit disorganized, but also if we're looking for a specific item, we know what shelf to go looking for. And that's honestly good enough for us out here in the garage. I hope you guys can kind of see a little bit of a difference. It's definitely way more organized to me over here at least. And now moving over to the last corner of the garage I'm organizing today, our workout zone. I don't really understand how this space gets that messy. There's not much to it, but it is pretty disorganized. A bunch of things that don't belong here are currently here. So I'm moving things out of the way, putting things inside and just tidying up this space a little bit more. I'm also gonna be organizing our weights even though it's kind of pointless. I know Christian had a friend over at lunch 
work out with him today and I'm sure it's back to being really messy again, but also that's just how it is sometimes. Messes are made, you clean them up and then it gets messy again. You just live with it. But I really enjoy having a clean space and it was really nice and satisfying because Christian came home and thanked me immediately for the garage being nice and clean. So it felt good to be like recognized for that a little bit. But I wanna thank you guys for following along on this video. I wanna thank Cricket once again for working with me on this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. Bye.